Today is the International Day of Yoga, and I wish you know, everybody around the world, especially in India, a very, very happy yoga day. Two days back, we celebrated Father's Day. Like that, we got an opportunity to penetrate deep into in several parts of the world to tell them there's a day for us. To, but in India, yoga is not a yoga day, it's a way of life. Yo and Ga, in and the Yang, mother and father, wife and husband, brother and sister, family and joint family, joint family and family too. It goes non-stop without a gap. And that is what is called yoga. People are thinking yoga means you do Raj Yoga, a lot of physical exercises. And you control your breath, your pranayama. Then you do your bhakti, all that is correct. Jnana yoga, bhakti yoga, prana. But the basic thing is to keep the family together. And we have been successful. Many parts of the world, when I went, I couldn't find this kind of family union. But it is broken in the, in the, in the cities as well as the villages because they created greed for the Village people to rush up to the cities and be lost. No, uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi said quit India and Baba Amte said knit India. So it is our duty to knit it back, the family unit. That's why today the yoga around the world, we told it's a yoga day in India and many parts. We have been all practicing in the schools and colleges, but basically people are thinking it's another kind of pity. Physical exercise. No, 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 it's not a physical exercise. The Samskriti of our years and years of 90,000 years of Rig Veda, or more than 90,000 years I'm talking, that must be the, the real wine, the, the older, the better they say is. And that comes from your Elders and that oldest Shastra, if we had known and we got a, we were practiced, that was the richness. Otherwise, the dictionary language is talked about the richness, rich and the poor. You got trapped with the rich and the poor of the money. Money, of course, the materialistic money is very, very, very important, no doubt about it. But for that to sustain. We need that foundation. Hence, when you get up, and you have to get up. Everybody knows you're together. That's why in India we practice mankularity. Just before the sunrise, half an hour before the sunrise, certain places it is one hour before the sun. There is a mankularity. Means the house is cleaned thoroughly. Previous night it is kept ready. And that day morning it is cleaned beautifully. They said, before you go to do the Mangala Ardi, you get up, you take the first saliva. I kept on telling many times and I repeat again. The first saliva, that's only one the body makes medicine for you. The saliva is only one. Even in the villages where children gets a cut, they put the saliva immediately. And it goes, it's medicine. But early morning, the first saliva into the eyes creates infection away from you. It's and makes eye power more powerful. You put the saliva and without spitting out that saliva, you drink four or five glasses of water. Now Japan is practicing. When I was in Japan, I was trying, trying to tell many people who have got constipation problem, drink the early morning water. And many people came into, wow. To others, I told them, night, previous night before going to sleep, just take one or two slices of ripe papaya. And then you go to sleep. So others, they say half a glass of water. We go to, and they say, oh my God, even the stools doesn't stink. And we had a beautiful flow. Our beautiful flow is very important. So morning when you get up, when you put the uh, saliva into your eyes and you drink the five glasses of water, and then you go brush your teeth, the finger is very important to press on your gums. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, you both up. And you can know 
the gums become very strong and the mouth doesn't stink. And then you rinse your mouth to brushing your teeth. You rinse your mouth, spitting on the left hand side, 18 times, it's full power. Now the Kapalapati came. Those days the Kapalapati was a spit. You spit. And this is Kapalapati they are doing only one time. But in, in our Indian Samskriti, it has been done after you pass your urine four times. You spit it up. After you go to our motion eight times. After every meal you do it 16 times. Morning 18 times. So throughout the day there is water in the mouth. Which disease can come. It's a border security force. It's our Indian Army, Navy, Air Force. Everything is in the mouth. Yes. When that is a which disease, which foreign matter, which terrorist can enter our mouth. It enters through our mouth through our nose. And then, yes. So that we do it. After you are rinsing your mouth, you take your yoga mudra. Yes. Why the mudra? If you press with both the fingers, you find it's too much powerful. So keep it a little distance away and then nostril be out 30 times. We come back and do the stomach pumping 200 times and anuloma will inhale and say so just to tell the breath, I am controlling you, you are not controlling me. If you know to tell the breath, yes, it's beautiful. Then you have cleaned up the house, you Put up a lamp. That is the first Mangalar. And by the time the sun rises, you look at the sun and do your Surya Namaskar. Early birds catches the best prey. That is the yoga. The first basic principle you have done it. Nobody in the whole world can ever touch. You can go any part of the world. Just this Sanskrit itself involves you are a philosopher. You are a psychologist, you are a doctor, you are a beautiful human being, you are a father and mother who will guide the children, not as a friend, but as a related, relative, yes, that you are mature enough to guide them, not to joke, to entertain them alone. And then the day starts, you go to the field, yes. You grow, your medicinal plants is very, very important. What is medicinal plants? You know, for an emergency, it works out. Then you look at your organic fruits and vegetables. Yes. Then you have your pet animals wrong. Now your cities have come and that was not available. What they have is Nai. Hey, Nai in the Maga, too. Hmm? Son of a dog, son of a bitch. You have dogs. And that got disconnected to connect you back to your family. That family has been broken. When family has been broken, I am not telling that we can, it is possible to go back to build up the family. Nothing is impossible or possible. Don't take the language impossible or possible. Just make it a way of life. Yes. All the Indians, yes, who are in yoga, who are in who are breathing, yes. Like Mother Teresa came to Bangalore and for the Chamber of Commerce and the, the president told Mother, giving everybody free. There they are free and paid. In the olden days, we never had that. Anybody can eat it, they move or they can stay, they can eat food. We never asked for food. Now, hotels, tea stalls came, they asked for Aditi to pay. Okay, forget. And they said, you must charge something from the people. And mother was shocked. And after that, mother looked at the people and said, Are you all breathing? And he said, yes. For everyone breath, if God is supposed to charge you how much you owe to God. That consciousness is family. Don't tell whether we can or cannot. The family is there. Are you conscious of your breath? That I cannot go back to family. I cannot go back to my to connect the joint family. Yes. Family is very, very important. Whenever there is a fight between a family, a relative, I'm talk, talking not about a friend, a relative, enjoy because you were, you were doing them a chance like a baby. Hey, when Kavir is here, was here six months, I hear my children coming around, 
screaming. I was frightened. What happened? Come here, see. She started crawling. Oh, everybody rushes up, crawling. When she started standing, started sitting, and then one day they said, "Hey, come here, see." Started talking something, saying something, and once she opened her mouth, she never stopped. We were uh, happy. What language is this? She's talking. It is gibberish. Like that, the ladies should feel that it is gibberish language that each one. Used to you to express that is yoga day. That is your every day is our yoga day. You should feel happy let, that you allowed them to express this. And after after that expression, don't react. And that if you find something good, take the good. Others you think it is circumstances and food which made them to talk like that. Give a bear hug. A hug is very important. Husband giving the wife a hug every time. Yes, in front of the children also. Never mind children hug. Yes, then parents. That hug is your family. Family who sits together, is your praise or grows. That is the real yoga. I don't have to tell you about the scientific methods and all these things about yoga and the meaning of yoga. No, no, you don't need. Just to be simple. Yes, smile at your children. Yes, like my children went for hospitality business and they said. Whenever you see a customer, a customer can be very rude, very good. Even if you're putting a mask, also you have to always answer to him with a smiling face. Answer to your family members, to your wife, and the wife to the husband, father to the mother, mother to the father, children. Teach them that smile is the yoke, the life, the bubbling energy. Like Swami, when people are walking like dead body because they were not able to smile because they didn't do this samskriti. And before every meal in India, we practice to eat fruits, not after the meal. So in all the weddings, please change the system. Starting should be the fruits. I have to take my children and rush up to the last bench in a corner. Of the wedding place to find out whether where are the fruits and reverse when you touch the fruits, people say no 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 please have the food and go. We have to take the fruits first then start. It. If you know then there won't be any constipation problem. The health you know when to put. You don't put oil inside the petrol uh, tank and then put petrol. And before that was for for the for the motorbikes. We put the petrol. So make sure that the fruits goes first, raw vegetables, then you chew. Mm -hmm. You chew properly and then you enjoy your food. This much if you can do, your family is strong. And this much if you can do, you had a joint family. And in the joint family, you find all the yoga and the yoga, the power, the spirit. And that is what our samskriti from 90,000 years of the Rig Veda has happened. You don't need the prime minister to come and tell you again and again. Everybody is a prime. Yes, you are in the prime of your minister to do your work in your house. Everybody make sure when you do it in the morning, early morning sunrise, early birds catches the best prey, and you find out huge amount of money you save when you got up early morning to do your Surya Namaskar. That is your yoga. Let's celebrate today the International Day of Yoga. Wishing you all the best for the yoga. Don't stop it. Today. Make it a way of life. And my discourse is that upload every day morning at 5 p.m.